Oh, this looks promising. Here's some nuts that we recommend avoiding because they can negatively impact your testosterone levels. Peanuts, very high in beta cysterol. Oh no, I think he's eating peanuts. This looks like a job for nutrition right You can't eat those peanuts. What? They're gonna lower your testosterone. Okay, that's stupid. And here's why. First of all, there's no scientific evidence of peanuts being the cause of lowering testosterone in humans. Everything that you see online of any bad health blogs talking about peanuts being bad for testosterone is an extrapolation from a rat study that actually found that peanuts reduced the rate of prostate cancer. So I don't see how you can decide that peanuts are gonna be bad because of that. Secondly, you can't look at a peanut and pinpoint one nutrient from the food and say that because it has this chemical, it's gonna have this effect. A peanut has a wide complex variety of nutrients that are bioavailable. Maybe the phytosterol might reduce the amount of cholesterol in it, which could have cascading effects of lowering testosterone or the aromatization of testosterone or transition of testosterone into DHT. That might be possible, but then again, there's multiple nutrients in it. Peanuts are rich in zinc and magnesium and polyunsaturated fats, which are beneficial for producing more testosterone. So you have to think, well, do these effects negate the phytosterols in the peanuts? Or maybe the zinc and the magnesium and all the pro-testosterone effects that peanuts have would outweigh the phytosterols and peanuts actually help your testosterone. Again, there's no scientific evidence that it has this effect in humans or not, but it would be silly to eliminate a whole food from your diet because of it, some if, a maybe. Thirdly, peanuts are really good for you. There's a lot of conclusions and scientific reviews stating that peanuts can, in addition with a low saturated fat diet, can help reduce the risk of developing arthrosclerosis and cardiovascular disease. And the FDA says that in terms of phytosterols, which this guy seems to be really concerned with, that consuming one to three grams of phytosterols within a healthy diet is considered health promoting and lowering LDL, or the bad cholesterol circulation in your arteries that create plaques and lead to things like heart attacks. You know, one to three grams of phytosterols, uh, you can eat so many peanuts, man. For each peanut, there's only about eight milligrams of phytosterols in it. Yeah, it's, it's unlikely that you're gonna be eating enough peanuts to have a, uh, an adverse effect, okay? You, again, we're not gonna be pinpointing one nutrient within a food and saying that the entire food is bad because of it. If that were the case, no one would be eating apples because it has arsenic. You have to eat like 70 apples to have a problem because of the arsenic effect, okay? So just be reasonable. If you like peanuts, eat them. They're great for you. If you're that concerned about lowering your testosterone, how about you go do some exercise? Because that boosts your testosterone a lot more than peanuts might reduce it. Man, these are so good. Yeah, aren't you glad you're not allergic?